Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe to join in on the fun. In today's tutorial, we're making a cold shoulder shrug. For this modern week, we've got the form we love, cold shoulders, which I'm always down for, and both luscious bell sleeves and a hood, a celebration of all things modern crochet. Speaking of, if you're a fan of modern crochet, you are in the right place. We have hundreds of modern crochet tutorials and patterns for you to love with even more dropping twice weekly, so consider clicking the bell to subscribe and you'll never miss an upload. Also, do me a huge favor and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, or two thumbs down if you don't. Either way, it's a great way to show support so I can keep putting out free tutorials every Wednesday and Sunday. Now it's time to get on the show, so without further ado. For this project, any category 4 yarn will work, but I used a total of 425 grams of yarn, and that's 650 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 5.5 and, and 6 millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order, and enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us if you know how to play any instruments. Me play? No, but I did take a few lessons as a child, and one being piano. Details for the giveaway down below. We're using 4 stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. This tutorial is made for a size small and you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this shrug started, we're all going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Then we're all going to grab our five and a half millimeter hook and start off by making a chain that starts one inch underneath our underarm down to the top of our chest. Now that's just about an inch or two centimeters for me so I'm going to start by making a chain five. So now that we have our chain we're all going to start off our first row and that's going to start with a decrease of two half double crochets. So start by blocking off that last chain and do a chain two. That chain two does not count as a stitch that's our turning chain. Then we're all going to yarn over and into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook we're going to insert our hook in through that chain and pull through then also insert our hook into that following chain and pull through as well once we have these four loops on our hook we're all going to yarn over and pull through all four now before we move on with the rest of the row we all want to make sure that we're inserting a stitch marker into the edge of this row just so we can keep track of which rows we're decreasing into and also so that we know that this is the bottom from here, continue with one half double crochet into every chain, leaving the last one. So just to do a regular half double crochet together, start with the yarn over. Insert your hook into that following chain, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Again, yarn over. Into that following chain, we're going to insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Now, like I said, continue with one half double crochet into every chain, leaving the last one. When we have just one chain left, we're all going to do an increase of three half double crochets. So yarn over. Inserting our hook into that last chain with one half double, into that same last chain with a second half double, and into that same last chain with a third half double crochet. Now our row one is complete. Now getting started on our row two, we're going to chain two and flip our work. And getting started on any even number row, we're all going to start with an increase of three half double crochets, but now all within the back loops. So yarn over. Into that first stitch, we're going to insert into that back loop or the loop that's furthest away from us, starting with one half double crochet. Into that same first back loop with a second half double crochet. Same back loop with a third half double crochet. And to complete our row two, we're going to be putting one back loop half double into the rest of our stitches. So yarn over. Into that next stitch's back loop, insert with a regular half double, and continue with one half double into the rest of our stitches. We are back and our first two rows are complete. It's now going to be a repeat of these two rows, but now all within the back loops. So just to get it started again, we're going to chain two and flip our work. Now at the beginning of every odd number row, we're going to start it off with a decrease of two back loop half doubles. So getting that started, yarn over. 
into that first stitch's back loop, pull through. Into that next stitch's back loop, pull through. Yarn over, pull through all four, and I do like to insert a stitch marker into the edge of that decrease row. And from here, continue with one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last one. We are now at the end of our row three. We left that last stitch, so all we're going to do is yarn over into that last back loop, insert, with an increase of three back loop half doubles, kind of like how we ended off our row one. So there's one, there's our second back loop half double, and into that same back loop, there's our third back loop half double. And now we're going to get started on our following even number row. So that's always going to be chain two, flip our work, start the row off with an increase of three back loop halves. So there's one into that same first stitch with a second, same first stitch with a third, then one back loop half double crochet into the rest of our stitches. From here, all we're going to do is continue to repeat our two previous rows until we have a portion that can stretch from mid underarm over to the front of our body, so roughly where a bra strap or a tank top strap would be. I'll meet you guys back right after an odd number row or along the top so we can work straight into the shoulder together from there. We are back. My underarm portion is complete. Now I have a total of seven rows. This width is roughly three inches or eight centimeters. And now what we're all gonna do from here is make a chain that reaches all the way up to the top of our shoulder. So as a quick sizing tip, make sure that this tail end is still staying roughly one inch underneath our underarm because we don't want our armhole to become too big or too small. But once we have that from here, I went ahead and made my chain, which is roughly four inches or 10 centimeters for me. So I made a chain of 15. Then from here, we're going to do our following half double crochet row. So start by blocking off that last chain after we have our chain and chain two. That chain two does not count as a stitch. That's our turning chain. Then yarn over into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook. We're going to insert with a half double crochet. So pull through, pull through three. From here, continue with one half double crochet into every chain. Once we reach the body, one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, and then I'll meet you at the end of the row. We are back and our first shoulder row is complete. Now we're going to do our following half double crochet row. Now, since our following half double crochet row is going to be an odd number row, we are still going to start our odd number rows with a decrease. So all we're going to do is chain two, flip our work, starting with a decrease, we're going to yarn over into that first stitches back loop, pull through, next stitch is back loop, pull through, pull through all four, and from here continue with one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. So now that we have our first two shoulder rows completed, all we're going to do is continue to repeat those two previous rows until we now have a shoulder portion that can reach from mid underarm all the way over to roughly two inches away from the side of the base of our neck. Then I'll meet you back right after an even number row or along the bottom, then we can work on our neckline together from there. So we are back. I have just completed my shoulder portion. Now I have a total of 12 rows. This width is roughly six inches or 15 centimeters. Now we're going to get started on our neckline. So first things first, we're going to put this up to our cells and we're all going to start by inserting a stitch marker into the stitch that's nearest to the base of our neck. Now I've inserted my stitch marker into the 15th stitch from the top. That's roughly three and a half inches or nine centimeters. And now from here, we're going to do a half double crochet row that reaches our stitch marker. But for this middle neckline portion, we aren't going to be doing any increases or decreases along the top or along the bottom. So from here, all we're going to do is chain two and flip our work and simply put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we reach our stitch marker. Now that we've put one half double crochet into every stitch until we reach our stitch marker, we're going to repeat this row. So chain two, flip our work and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch again. Then from here, all we're going to do is continue to repeat our back loop half double crochet row with no increases and no decreases until we have a portion that can reach across our chest over to the other side of the base of our neck. Then I'll meet you back right after an odd number row or along the top. So we can go straight into the shoulder together from there. We are back. I have just completed my neckline. I now have a total of 25 rows. And since we all should have ended along the top, we are now going to make a chain for the same amount of stitches that we skipped when we got started on our neckline. 
So for those of you that have my numbers, I skipped a total of 15 stitches. So from here, I'm just going to make a chain of 15 and then we can get started on our shoulder together. When we have our chain, we're all going to block off that last chain and chain two. That chain two doesn't count as a stitch, that's our turning chain. Then yarn over into that chain that we blocked off for the third chain from our hook. Insert with a half double crochet. Then put one half double crochet into every chain. Then when we reach the body, one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. So our first shoulder row is complete. Now we're going to do the same amount of shoulder rows as the first one. But now at the beginning of every odd number row, we're going to be doing an increase so that we can match these decreases that we did over here. So since we're along the bottom, we're all going to chain two and flip our work. So what we're going to do is yarn over into that first stitch's back loop, insert with one back loop half double, into that same stitch with another back loop half double, and just like the other side, I do like to insert my stitch markers into the beginning of each of these increase rows, just so I know which one I'm going to increase into. Then from here, continue with one back loop half double crochet into the rest of our stitches. From here, like I said, we're going to continue to repeat our two previous rows until we have the same amount of rows as our first shoulder portion. Then once we do, I'll meet you back so we can finish up with our underarm together. We are back. My second shoulder is complete. Now we're going to finish up with our underarm. So just to let you guys know, I now have a total of 14 inches or 36 centimeters. And now to get started on my underarm, we're now going to insert a stitch marker into the same amount of stitches as chains that we made that led up to our shoulder. So for those of you that have these numbers for me, I made a total of chain 15. So on this side, I insert my stitch marker into the 15th stitch from the top. And now we're going to get started on our following row. So since we're along the bottom, we're all going to get started on our following row by doing a chain two, flip our work. Start the row by doing an increase of two back loop half doubles, then put one back loop half double into every stitch, leaving the last three stitches. So I've made my way down, leaving the last one, two, three stitches right before a stitch marker. Now we're going to close off the row with a decrease of three back loop halves. So yarn over into that third to last back loop, pull through, second to last, pull through, last, pull through for a total of one, two, three, four, five loops on our hook, then yarn over, pull through all five, and that's that. Getting started on the following row, we're going to chain two and flip. We are going to need to start off our following row with a decrease of three back loop halves again, so yarn over. Into that first stitch's back loop, pull through. Next stitch's back loop, pull through. Next stitch's back loop, pull through for a total of five loops on our hook, then yarn over. Pull through all five, then finish up the row with one back loop half into the rest of our stitches. And all we're going to do from here is continue to repeat our two previous rows until we have the same amount of rows as underarm portions as we started this piece off with. Once we have the same amount of rows, do a chain up of one and cut, and then I'll meet you back. We are back. We have just completed the entirety of our front panel, and I did do a chain up of one and cut right after my last row. I have a total of 17 inches or 43 centimeters unstretched. Now we're going to get started on our back panel. So what we're going to do is start by making a chain for the same amount of chains that we made when we got started on the front. So for me, that's going to be a chain five. So now that we have our chain, block off that last chain and do a chain two. That chain two doesn't count as a stitch, that's our turning chain, and now all we're going to do is put one half double crochet into every chain, leaving the last one. So just to do the first, yarn over into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook, insert with a half double, and put one back loop half double into every chain, leaving the last one. We've made our way down and we all have just one chain left. Pretty much the same way that we did the front panel, we're all going to do an increase of three half doubles, so yarn over. Into that last chain, insert with one, same last chain with a second, same last chain with a third. Now getting started on the following row, chain two, flip our work, start with an increase of three back loop half doubles. So in that first stitch is back loop, insert with one, same first stitch is back loop with two, same stitch with a third back loop half double crochet, then complete the rest of this row with one back loop half into the rest of our stitches. From here, it's going to be a repeat of our two previous rows for the same amount of underarm rows that we did for the front panel. So just as a refresher, it's basically the same exact thing as the front panel, but we aren't going to be doing any increases or decreases along the bottom. So just as a refresher, chain two, 
flip our work. One back loop half into every stitch, closing off the row with an increase of three back loop half doubles. Following row starts with an increase of three back loop half doubles, then one back loop half into the rest of our stitches. I'll meet you back when we have the same amount of rows as the front panel's underarm. We are back. We have just completed our underarm portion for the back panel. At the same exact amount of rows, so now from here, since we all should have ended along the top, we're going to make a chain for the same amount of chains that we made that led up to our shoulders. So for those of you that have my numbers, I made a chain 15. So here, I made a chain 15 as well. Now all we're going to do is back loop half double crochet rows for the same exact amount of rows that we have from our first shoulder row all the way across to our last shoulder row. No increases and no decreases. And then I'll meet you guys back so we can finish up with our underarm portion together. We are back. We have just completed the width of our back panel and now we're going to finish up with our underarm. So first things first, what we're going to do is insert our stitch marker into the same amount of chains that we made that led up to our shoulder. So again, for those of you that have my numbers, I made a chain 15. So I insert my stitch marker into the 15th stitch from the top. Then from here, put one back loop half into every stitch, leaving three stitches right before our stitch marker. We've made our way up to our stitch marker, leaving one, two, three stitches. Now we're all going to do a decrease of three back loop halves. So yarn over into that third to last back loop, pull through, second to last, pull through, last, pull through, yarn over, pull through all five, and to get started on the following row, chain two and flip. Start with a yarn over into that first stitch's back loop, pull through, second, pull through, third, pull through, yarn over, pull through all five, and one back loop half into the rest of our stitches. From here, continue to repeat our two previous rows until we have the same amount of rows as our first underarm portion. When we do, do a chain up one and cut, then I'll meet you back. So we are back. We have just completed the entirety of our back panel, did a chain up one and cut, and now we're going to seam everything together. So first things first, let's all place our front panel on top of our back panel. So now that our front panel is on top of our back panel, we're now going to place our hook into the top corner stitch of both the front and back panel. Then all we're going to do is pull through and start with a chain up of one to secure. Then from here, all we're going to do is alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row. So working into the front panel first, we're going to find that first side row and find that top loop. Find the first side row within the back panel find that top loop, and we're going to single crochet around everything just once. Now into our following side row, find that top loop, insert. Following side row within the back panel, find that top loop and insert, starting with one single crochet, then a second single crochet into the same top loop within the front and back panel, but everything should be a little bit easier because it should be gathered for us, and single crochet. We're going to continue doing this until we don't have any more stitches left. When we don't, do a chain up one and cut and then repeat on the other side. So we're back and we have just finished up seaming our shoulders. Now we're going to seam up our sides. So first things first, make sure that our work is still flipped right side out, meaning all of the seams that we just did for the shoulders is still along the outside. Then we're going to insert our hook into the bottom corner stitch of both the front and the back panel. Insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. Now just single crochet in through both sides. So finding that first stitch into the front panel, insert, first stitch into the back panel, insert, and single crochet. Again, next stitch into the front, insert, next stitch into the back, insert, single crochet, and continue doing this until we don't have any more stitches left. When we don't, do a chain up of one and cut and then repeat on the other side. So now that everything is all seamed up, we're ready to get started on our hood. So first things first, let's make sure that our work gets flipped right side out, right side up. Then we're going to start by finding that middle row that we have within the front panel of our neckline. So all we're going to do is just find the one middle row. We should have one middle row for every size. And all I did was count it in from each edge one row at a time. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then my seventh row in the middle of my neckline is my one middle row, so I insert my stitch marker into there. Then from here, we're gonna insert our hook into any one of our side rows. Then we're gonna do a single crochet row. So all I did was insert my hook into the stitch that's nearest to my shoulder seam, and I'm gonna start with one single crochet into every stitch, and then I'll meet you back once we reach our first side rows. 
So now that we have reached our first side row, all we're going to do is just alternate between one to two single crochet into every side row. So just finding our first side row right here, find that top loop and start with one single crochet. This is our following side row, so find that top loop and then insert with two single crochets. So there's one, there's two, and we're just going to continue to do this until we reach our middle row together. Now once we have reached our middle row, it should be just one single crochet because the last side row that we worked into was two single crochets. So I'm going to take my stitch marker out for now, insert my hook in through there with just one single crochet, so that is the pattern per usual. Don't forget to insert your stitch marker into that single crochet, then continue on with the next side row with two single crochets and just make your way all the way around and then slip stitch into that chain space where we don't have any more stitches left to work into. Now just as a really quick tip, this single crochet row is going to be as wide as this portion can stretch. So go ahead and try it on and if it's a little bit too tight, redo some stitches with a looser grip or if it's too loose, redo some stitches with a tighter grip. So our single crochet row along our neckline is now complete. Now what we're going to do from here is the half double crochet rows that form the height of our hood. So we did do a chain up of one and cut. Now we're going to be inserting our six millimeter hook into our stitch marker stitch, making sure that the work is still flipped right side out, right side up. And this is going to be pretty simple. So all we're going to do is pull our yarn through and start with a chain two. That chain two will not count as a stitch. We just need the height. And starting with that same stitch that our chain two is in, which should also be our stitch marker stitch, start with our first half double crochet and working towards the back, put one half double crochet into every stitch. And when we make our way all the way around, make sure that our last stitch is worked into that same stitch marker stitch. And then I'll meet you back. Our first row for our hood is now complete. Now this is going to be super duper simple. All we're going to do is chain two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch and then continue to repeat that and we won't have any increases or decreases for our hood. We're just going to continue to repeat our back loop half double crochet row until we get the height of the hood that we want, remembering that the more rows that we do, the more cloak like the hood is going to be. But once when it reaches at least the top of our head, I'll meet you guys back so we can seam it all together. We are back. We have just completed the height of our hood. Now I have a total of 31 rows. My length is roughly 16 inches or 41 centimeters. And now we're going to seam it up. But as you guys can see, I have already seamed up my hood, but this is going to be pretty simple. This is going to be the same single crochet seam that we did for the sides. So first things first, just make sure that our hood is slipped wrong side out. Then we're going to pin the corners together, then do a single crochet seam. Once we don't have any more stitches left to work into, do a chain up of one and cut, flip our work right side out so that it looks like this. Then from here, we can all get started on our sleeve. So now let's grab our five and a half millimeter hook. So taking a look at our armhole, making sure that our work is still flipped right side out, right side up, we're going to be inserting our hook into that first side row that we have that's along the right side. So as you guys can see, our armhole is in a complete circle. We're going to insert our hook into the right side of our armhole, just into that first side row that we have. Then all we're going to do is insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, do a chain up of one just to secure, and now we're going to alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row. So finding our first side row, this is mine right here, I'm going to find that top loop. I'm going to start with just one single crochet into there. This is my following side row. I'm going to find that top loop and insert with two singles. So there's one into that same top loop with a second single crochet and that's it. We're just going to continue doing this, making our way all the way down and then back up until we're worked into our last side row and then I'll meet you back. So now that we have just finished up our single crochet row, what we're going to do from here is a row with increases along the edges of the row and those increases are going to be with double crochets. So what we're going to do is chain three and flip our work. Now we are going to be working into the back loops and this is going to start with an increase of two back loop double crochets. So starting with the yarn over into that first back loop, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. That's our first back loop double crochet. And again, yarn over into that same back loop, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Then from here for everyone, no matter what size we're making, we're going to be doing four back loop half double crochets. So yarn over into that next stitch. There is my first half double into that next stitch, my second back loop half double. 
next stitch, third back loop half double, next stitch, fourth back loop half double, then from here we're going to be putting one back loop single crochet into every stitch, leaving the last five stitches. So just do the first back loop single into that next stitch, insert with a single crochet. So I've made my way around with my back loop single crochets, leaving the last five stitches. That should be five stitches for everyone. And now we're going to close off the row with four back loop half doubles and then an increase of two back loop doubles. So all together, here is my first back loop half double, my second, my third, and my fourth, and then into that last back loop an increase of two back loop doubles. So there is my first back loop double into that same back loop with a second back loop double. And that's it. From here, we're gonna continue to repeat this row that we just did together until these two points that we have can wrap around our arm. So just to get this row started off together again, we're gonna chain three and flip, starting with an increase of two back loop doubles. There's my first, into that same back loop with my second, then for everyone, four back loop half doubles. Then from here, one back loop single crochet into the rest of our stitches, leaving the last five. Then four back loop half doubles, then an increase of two back loop doubles. Continue this row until the points that we have can wrap around our arm and meet in the middle, and then I'll meet you guys back. So we are back, and I have just completed the cold shoulder portion of my sleeve. Now, just to let you guys know, including my single crochet row, I have a total of eight rows. And if you fan it out like this, from point all the way across to point, I have roughly 10 inches or 25 centimeters. And then once we pinch these two points together, my arm can fit through this armhole. So once our arm can fit through that armhole, we're going to connect the two corners together. So all we're gonna do is take our working yarn out, insert it in through both corners, then just pull through and chain one to secure and now we have an armhole and then we get started on the length of our sleeve. So now that our cold shoulder portion is connected, we can now get started on the length of our sleeve. So first things first, our work still needs to be flipped right side out, right side up. Then we're gonna be inserting our hook into any stitch that we have that's within the middle. It doesn't need to be exact, but all I did was I traced my side seam all the way up. It should be somewhere within the middle of our single crochets and I'm just gonna insert my hook. Then what I'm going to do from here is a back loop half double crochet row with no increases and no decreases until it reaches roughly an inch past our elbow. Now for everyone the following row, the direction that we're working in may be a little bit different. If the amount of rows that we worked for our previous section ended on an even number, we're going to be working clockwise. Or if you ended on an odd number, we're going to be working counterclockwise. We want to make sure that we're working in the right direction because we want to keep up with the ribbing that we have for the entirety of the piece so far. Now, another tip that I can show you guys just to make sure that we're working in the right direction is that we're all gonna be taking a look at the top of our previous row. Our loops are going to be in a teardrop shape. One end is gonna be pointed, the other end is gonna be rounded. The rounded end is the direction that our previous row was worked into. So since this is my rounded end, that's the row that I was worked for my previous row. So I will be working in the opposite direction. So all I'm gonna do is just insert my hook into that back loop and we can all get started on our back loop half double crochet row. So what we're gonna do from here is pull through and start with a chain two. Now that chain two does not count as a stitch, we just need the height. And we're gonna start with our first back loop half double crochet into that same stitch that our chain two is in. And from here, continue in the direction that we need to go in with one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. Now just as a really quick tip, once we reach where the points of our cold shoulder portion connected, that slip stitch may look like an additional stitch, but it does not actually count as a stitch, that's just to connect. For this following row, we should end up with the same amount of stitches as our previous row that we just completed, but make your way all the way around and then I'll meet you back so we can complete it together. So once we've made our way all the way around with our back loop half double crochet row, all we're gonna do is slip stitch into that second chain that we made. So there's one, there's our second, and that's it. That slip stitch doesn't count as a stitch, that's just to connect, but all we're gonna do from here is chain two, flip our work to keep up with the ribbing, and then one back loop half into every stitch again. 
like I said, we're going to continue to do our back loop half double crochet row with no increases and no decreases until we are roughly one inch past our elbow and then I will meet you back. We are back and the length of my sleeve is complete. I have a total of 24 rows. This length is roughly 8 inches or 20 centimeters and now we're all going to get started on our bell sleeve. So let's all switch out to our 6 millimeter hook and then we can get started on our bell sleeve row. So for everyone, no matter what size we're making, we're all going to start with a total of 6 back loop half double crochets. So yarn over into that first stitch's back loop with one back loop half double and I will meet you back when you have a total of 6 back loop half double crochets. Now that we have our 6 back loop half doubles, into that following stitch we're all going to do an increase of 2 back loop half doubles. All that is is 2 back loop half doubles into that same stitch. Then from here repeat until we reach the end of the row. So 6 back loop half doubles, an increase, then another 6 back loop half doubles, then an increase making the way all the way around. So we just completed our first bell sleeve row. I did insert a stitch marker into the edge of the row just to show you guys that this was our first increase row. Then for this portion we're going to be increasing into every other row. So for this following row, chain 2, flip our work. Put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch and I'll meet you back to get started on the following row. We are back. We have just completed the first two rows for our belt sleeve. The following two rows are going to be exactly the same as the two previous rows. So our following row is going to be six back loop half doubles and then an increase all the way around. And then right after that, a half double crochet row with no increases and no decreases. Then I'll meet you back once more. We are back and we have just completed the first four rows of our bell sleeve. Now from here, it is going to be a four row repeat, meaning we are going to be increasing into every other row that we have. But after every four rows, the increase row is going to increase by two. So I am going to do that as an example with you guys, but just to talk you guys through it, since we did six back loop half double crochets and then an increase, our following row is going to be eight back loop half double crochets and then an increase, then a half double crochet row with no increases and no decreases. Those will be the next four rows. Then after that, it's going to be 10 back loop half double crochets and an increase and then so on and so forth until we get the total bell sleeve length that we want. So just get started on the following bell sleeve row. This is going to be the one, two, three, four, fifth bell sleeve row. So what we're going to do is eight back loop half double crochets. So yarn over. Start with putting one back loop half double into the first eight stitches for every size. Now that we have our first eight back loop half doubles, into that following stitch, an increase of two back loop half doubles, then another eight back loop half doubles and an increase and repeat till we reach the end of the row. Like I said, the following row after that is going to be a back loop half double crochet row with no increases and no decreases. Then the row after that is going to be a repeat of this one. So eight back loop half doubles, increase. Then that following row is going to be a half double crochet row with no increases and no decreases. So like I said, it's a four row repeat. But after every four rows, every increase row is going to increase by two stitches. And that's pretty much it. We're just going to continue to repeat this until we get the total sleeve length that we like. And then once we do, do a chain up of one cut and I'll meet you back. We are back. I have just completed the entirety of my bell sleeve. I have a total of 45 rows and my length is roughly 18 inches or 46 centimeters. Once we have one side completed, go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and then I'll meet you back. Now that both of our sleeves are completed, the last thing we're going to do is just single crochet along our armhole slash cold shoulder detail just to clean everything up. So first things first, we're going to make sure the work is slipped right side out, right side up. Then we're going to be inserting our five and a half millimeter hook into any one of the stitches that we have in our cold shoulder detail. And we're going to be putting one single crochet into every stitch. And then when it comes to working into our side rows, one single crochet into every side single crochet row, which we should have one on one side, one on the other and then alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row. So just to get this started, we're going to pull through. And since my first side row is this side single crochet row, I'm going to find that top loop and insert with just one single crochet. Then from here, alternate between one to two. So find that next top loop, insert with just one. Next top loop, insert with two. And that's basically it. We're going to continue doing this, making our way all the way up and around. Well, we don't have any more stitches left to work into, slip stitch into that chain space, do a chain up of one and cut and then repeat on the other side. And we are back. Once we have single crocheted along both of our cold shoulder details, we are all done. 
last thing we're gonna have to do is just weave in all of our ends. And there you have it. Hope y'all enjoyed the tutorial. Join us on Instagram, Pinterest, or Twitter. Those links are down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Catch you on the next one. Bye.